Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 24th of May 1956, the first Eurovision Song Contest took place in Lugano in Switzerland. It has since grown to be one of the most watched non-sporting events in the world. The idea of the song contest came from Marcel Besançon, the chairman of the European Broadcasting Union, at a meeting of the union in Monaco in 1955. Founded in 1950, the EBU was looking for a way to bring the countries of Europe together after the devastation of the Second World War. However, of the 23 member countries at the time, only seven of them participated in the first Eurovision Song Competition, with only three more actually broadcasting the show. Highlighting just how far communication technology has come since its early days, it's worth noting that the first Eurovision Song Contest took place over a year before Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, was put into orbit. The first competitions were relayed across Europe using a terrestrial microwave network that linked the countries of Europe together like an invisible spider's web. Although the contest is now as much about geopolitics as it is about music, the geography of Eurovision is fascinating. Countries do not have to be within the continent of Europe to be eligible to enter, nor do they need to be members of the European Union. Eligibility is actually based on the European Broadcasting Area, which, even more confusingly, covers an area extending into North Africa and the Middle East. This helps to explain the regular appearance of Israel at the competition, and also explains Morocco's entry in 1980, which finished second to last with just seven points. Thank you.